Hi, it's Jenny Prosser, Kiwi Lane Creative Partner in Northern California in the Bay Area. I'm here today um, because I've had several requests from fellow scrapbookers about sharing my organization skills um, with organizing our templates. Now, each of us have a different amount of templates we own and each of us have different ways that maybe work for us. So I'm just going to share what has worked for me um, since Kiwi Lane came out with the storage system with the um, what I call the sleeves, the plastic sleeves through um, Totally Tiffany. So um, you can apply part of this or all of this or none of this <laughs> to how you store your templates. But I've had several people request that I share my ideas. And so basically this video is going to do that. I'm going to show you how I store them, how I label them. Um, also, I'm going to go into a little bit of, I go to retreats. I used to go before COVID, uh, sometimes once a month with my fellow scrapbookers. Um, and of course that went to the wayside with COVID. But now um, that things are being uh, released in, in, um, here in California, um, I'm gonna start doing retreats again. I did one a month ago and I have a couple coming up um, in the early or late summer and into the fall. So I'm gonna also explain how I carry them when I, when I need them to be more portable. So thank you for joining me and I hope you get some great little ideas and tips from this video. I'll see you in a minute. Hi. Okay, let's get started. So I don't know how many of you um, have been using the templates for a very long time or are new to Kiwi Lane. But for those of you who had the original templates, they used to come with little grommets. These, This is a card one, but the big ones were just alike. They had the little grommets in it and you had a ring to keep them together. And then you tried to figure out how to store them. So I took the, uh, the rings and I put them on this revolving rack and the long ones, the borders would hang just so. But then I had to find another rack. So then I had two racks. And then if I went on a retreat, I'd have to decide which ones to take or which ones not to take. Or if I tried to take this, um, they would fall off. So it got to be where it was pretty cumbersome. And then all of a sudden, Kiwi took the suggestion, I think, of many of us and decided not to put the grommets <clears throat> and to find another storage system. And that's how they came out with uh, using Totally Tiffany and her um, storage card box and the sleeves. Um, and so uh, maybe some of you still have all these grommets on. So I'm going to explain to you how I've removed all mine um, from, because what I found was all the grommets would get caught on each other in the sleeves. And also it took up too much room. It made this much fuller because of the thickness of the grommets. So I removed all my grommets. Now you can see that there's very little damage to the template. And if it does get a little crack in it, it, it doesn't hurt it at all. Um, this one's a little more rough around the edges. The bigger ones come out much easier than the smaller ones, but it is um, feasible and you can do it. So I got these little pair of cutters, um, pliers like, in the jewelry section at Michael's or Joann's. And all you do is you just have to make sure you have a good grip on the template. And you take it and you just grab it and you'll push with your finger right here and it'll pop right out. I don't want to do it on this because these are some that are for sale. Um, I have the card borders that I don't use and they are 
I will someday sell them. But um, they pop right out. And it's not that hard. And it makes it easier to store. But that's not necessary to do in order to use the system that I have. It's just a little bit more convenient to have it that way. So now what I use this for is to hang all my embellishments by kind of winter, fall, birthday, whatever. And I don't know how you're storing your leftover um, title cards from your kits, but after I use my kits, I put them in a baggie um, and I title it. These are happy sayings. These are all by Kiwi. These are family sayings. These are for flowers and garden. Friends, love, miscellaneous, summer, outdoors, play and fun, and western and miscellaneous. Then I have another one of these racks that's just holiday with my fall, my winter, my um, summer and stuff like that. So that's where I would have the titles that would go just for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and maybe birthday, so that's on a separate rack. Okay, so that's just how I do that. And I just wanted to show you this in case you have the grommets and you wondered if you could ever get rid of them. You can't. Okay, so let's talk about the storage card box. So some of you find that this is inconvenient and you like to put it in another container, maybe standing upright. I've seen them that way um, where you can flip through them and you also have put up um, titles that raise up above. For me, that couldn't ever work because I'm on the go a lot with my scrapbooking. Um, two years ago, I lived up in Paradise, California and Northern California and there was a very large fire and um, our home was burnt down to the ground and I lost everything and I lost all my scrapbooking, everything. And so I've had to start all over and um, find a simple system that works for me that when I leave where we live now um, and go back to where we used to um, reside and I meet up with my friends to scrapbook that it makes it convenient for me to be able to take my stuff with me. So I find that the storage box work really well for me. They protect your items. It makes it easy to transport them. But you could do the same type system I have and just not use the storage uh, card box, whichever you feel more comfortable with. What I like about them is, and I think you can see this cart. Let me put this in here so we have it all together. Is this is one of those carts that you can buy at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne's. It's on wheels, rolls around, it has three shelves. I hope you can see it real well. And I've even found at the dollar store these little magnetic cans that are see-through, and I have my googly eyes and brads and alphabet and different things in there. So my templates are here, my a la carte's are there, and all my catalogs are down here. So this is my Kiwi Lane portable, and I can roll it around to whichever side I want, and it holds everything. What I love about the card box is the handle. A lot of you don't like this. It gets in the way. I don't find that to be true. I just grab it and pull it out. I set it on my table or on my lap when I'm going through. Now, this is how I have them labeled. And I just played with it to see if it would work because I only have one border in each sleeve. But you could easily put two in and put another label over here. To label mine, I use a Dymo labeler. I just looked this up on Amazon. It's 
and I bought this at Staples. It's run by batteries. You can do small print, large print. This is a large print, um, all caps. It's very user friendly. It comes with some of these cartridges when you buy it that just lifts up. There's the cartridge. I buy um, my refills from Amazon and they're not even made by um, Dymo. They're just an off brand and they work perfect. The nice thing about them is they're smooth. They stay on really good. They don't roll up. They don't get caught. They stay real flat. Um, for some reason, even though I handle them every single night, they don't get dirty, but they are removable. If you take your fingernail or a sharp tool like this and get the corner, they can peel right up. They don't leave a sticky residue. So once you get them organized, if you get a new template that you want to get in the alphabetical order and, um, and it throws it all off and so you have to relabel it, it's very easy to do. And there's, a, I don't know how much footage in here, but these last a very long time and they're not very expensive. So all I have here is A through F. I have them alphabetized. And when I put my labels on, I stagger it. So at any given time, I can almost always find them very easily. Now, I have banners here, but then I have banners miscellaneous. I think when you file your templates, you have to do it for what works for you as a person. If I'm working on a layout and I want to put a banner up, I don't want to have to go look in a la carte to see if I have a banner or in good times to see if I have a banner or in citrus to see if I have a banner. I want all my banners together. If you're working and, and doing a floral one, I try to keep all my titles, my themes together to make it easy for me to find. The worst thing is trying to remember what, what Kiwi has put out. I know some of you do a whole catalog and you take pictures and you have a very organized way of doing it. I have found that, that I don't need that. I touch mine enough each night when I scrapbook that I'm pretty familiar with what I own. But if you wanted to back it up with taking pictures also, that would be a good idea for those of us that um, maybe don't touch them as often. So in here, you'll see I have some good times. I have a citrus. I have um, a la carte homemade, another good times, um, a la carte ribbon. So all those to me are a banner. So I have them all right here. We used to um, have a template that had bought a small and large or wide uh, and narrow um, slots but now it's all one so these I would just put in front if I didn't have one like this okay so under banners I also have miscellaneous banners okay then it's pretty brackets cascade cedar chestnut chevron so on and so forth now even though cliffhanger is an a la carte it's a border so I put it in here Coastal Highway, same way. And then what I did here, there's fancy frills, but I didn't want to take a whole folder for garden frills. So I labeled it garden frills and fancy frills and they're all together. And then funky frills. So when I put this away, if I'm traveling, I lock it. If I'm not traveling, it just goes right in there. Let's go to the second one. So then, same thing. Happy Trails, Jason, Madison, Matthew, McKay, so on and so forth. Okay. Southwest. 
So, Southwest was part of the kit, but again, it's a border. And then we also just got Scenic Route. Now, in my mind, when I saw these, I thought, oh, those are kind of like the Southwest arrows. So, if I was looking for these, and I could not remember that they came in a year from now, in Scenic, I would remember I was looking for arrows. So if you could use these in the Southwest. You could use this along with this. So it's kind of like if they look alike, they stay alike would be my way of thinking in my mind. That might not work for you. So you may want to make another folder that is an S for Scenic and keep it separate. I thought that this worked. Um, and I put it in there immediately. As soon as I opened it up, I went, oh, okay, that looks just like that other one. There's Streamers and Sunnybrook, my favorite, favorite order template. Okay. Let's go to accessories. So accessories, again, is done alphabetized. But here's what I did. If you're looking for accents, I didn't feel that I should have an accent holder and a tiny accent holder. I didn't separate my tiny from my regular. I put them side by side because they correspond with each other. So I found one that had a big enough pocket and a smaller pocket that that would work. So it says accents and tidy accents. Here's another one of my things that I use um, that helps me find what I'm looking for. Years ago, we had All Star. Then we had came out with Ball Game. Okay, it's sports. So if you're doing a boy page and it's about sports, instead of trying to figure out what you, where you might have it filed, I put it all together. If they get mixed up, you have the card for this one that shows. And if it was an a la carte, which ball game was, it's okay. They're in here and they say a la carte ball game. One, two, three, four. If you need a picture so you know how many um, was in that set, then that's fine too. Um, I'm very careful. Uh, I keep a bowl beside where I work and I put my loose temp small templates in it when I'm working and when I'm all done, I put them back into the pocket. So Autumn and Cherish. Now, here you'll notice Autumn, because I needed this side, but I didn't have anything to put in here. So later there may be something that's in the A that will fit in here. In the meantime, it's just blank. Then there's B for Blossom and Cherish. Brackets, regular size brackets, tiny brackets. Celebrate, tiny celebrate. Again, here we go. This is a theme. Celebrate, party. Isn't that the same? You're either celebrating or having a party. So, celebrate, and here's party. I did not label that. I didn't notice that. So then I would put party right here. So I would know that's in there, but it stands up. So maybe that's why I thought I didn't need it. Another something a little different. Here's Christmas, very old one. Then there was a reindeer and sleigh that were a la carte. So they're in here because if you're doing a Christmas theme and you're looking for Christmas templates, where are you going to look? Christmas. The snowman set. That was an individual set you could buy. Um, I think it was a special release. I put it here because, again, if you're doing snow or Christmas, you want them together. Alphabetize, critters, charmed, country. And you kind of need all the different sizes. Um, oh, look at here. This is Critters, but at one time they came out with the Mickey Mouse head. It was called Little Critter. 
So I filed it in critters so that I would know where it's at because we don't have a Mickey Mouse section. Elements and Egg Hunt, Enchanted, and Flurry. Did I mark Flurry in the back? Yes, but it's such a big card, it covers it up. Okay, Tiny Explore. You see, I have room here, so if they bring out others that are in E or F, it'll fit right in here. Now, sometimes the alphabetize um, gets a little jumbled, because here's, let's see, do I have this right? E, F, G, H, and then journaling. Okay, so it's okay. But if it gets a little, um, I think on the next one, you'll see it gets a little mixed up with the alphabet. Let's put these away. And you can see how this protects them so well. Okay, the last section. So, all my templates, and I think I own every one that they came out with, are in four boxes. And you can see there's plenty of room to put more. This is probably the fullest. Um, so I might have to expand eventually. So let's see what I have here. Here's Halloween. Okay. There's a Halloween set. And the card. This is all Halloween. Then there was a set that came out that was called Haunted. Haunted is Halloween. So they're side by side. They would have been anyhow because um, alphabetized. But even if this was called Spooky House, I would have put it next to Halloween. Homegrown. Do I have anything else in here? Let's see. Homegrown, homegrown. Oh, these are all home. Oh, yes. Okay. Homegrown is like gardening and a fence and this is like my little garden section. So these are a la carte. Instead of doing an a la carte for the house plant and a la carte for the watering can, it'd be pretty hard to remember every a la carte you had. So if it has to do with this theme, which is gardening, I put it in here in homegrown. Somehow I just remember that's where it's at. Here's highlights and uh, holiday. Oh, here we go again. Now, I'm out of alphabetized. H, L, and F are not close in the alphabet, but Liberty came first, and then later they came out with Freedom. They're both about the celebration of the USA or 4th of July or America. So I have them together. Nature and tiny nature. Here's a nautical with, I needed a long one for the lighthouse. And I have the two lighthouses. The first one came without the lines and the next one uh, slots and the next one came with slots. So there's two and a space. Okay, paradise was an old one. It's tropical. And there was also some a la carte, like the palm tree. So of course that would go paradise. And there's also tiny seaside and tropical. They're all in the same type theme. So I have paradise, tropical, and seaside all about paradise or the tropics or Hawaii or vacation all together. Okay, so when we just got the scenic, I said, hmm, scenic, that's travel. We have a travel one. So I took this and I slow put that in there. Now I could take <clears throat> and put, but I think it's too not long enough, those little arrows and put it in here. But again, those arrows reminded me of the Southwest, so that's where I put them. Scenic 
has this here. If they did more travel, I could put it over here. Pets, school, spring, wait, shapes, spring, and honey spring. Okay, again, flowers, spring, gardening, springtime. Garden frills was a set, and it had little tiny pieces. And since I do a lot of floral stuff, I threw the little garden frills over here. So if I'm going to make flowers, I have them all together. The only ones that are separate are the tropical flowers. They're over there. But I could bring them over here if I so desired. Yeah. Sweetheart is about hearts and love. So over here, I put the a la carte hearts and XO for love. If I'm doing something in this theme, that's where it goes. Uh, let's see, tags, tiny tags, trees. Okay, the trees were a set that went with a fall set. It was a kit. So alphabetized, I put it here. Wacky and tiny wacky. Now here's something a little different. The scenic, this piece, which everybody had a different thought of what it could be used for. Here's where I'm showing you how I break up my sets and I do it logically for my way of thinking. This does not look like the Southwest. It won't fit over with my travel. It's kind of wacky. It's kind of a different shape. So I have it over here with wacky. Another thing I have over here with wacky that's a little different, is the Jack's a la carte, which is a very old one. Instead of putting it in the a la cartes, I have it right over here when I'm looking for odd shapes. Hi, I'm coming back. I had a contractor working here today and um, he interrupted me, so now I'm back. I had told you that I had four of the storage card boxes. Actually, I have five. I have one with the a la cartes in it. So the a la cartes, I haven't um, quite alphabetized them yet because there isn't that many and they're easy to flip through. But I've done them the same way where the titles are staggered so they're easy to read. And um, I keep the vine in here also because I don't consider it a border. It is an a la carte, but I do use it a lot. Um, and I kind of have them grouped together for example, um, I do the same thing, themes, like the sun. I have um, shine, which is a la carte, and this, and this one, which was called creativity, and um, the cloud, because I think this could be a sun also, and um, I think they're all related. And then on this side, I have southwest and the cactus, which was an a la carte, and the sprig. Um, and so that would all kind of go with Southwest. I didn't label this one yet. That's a new one for summer with the flip-flops and the, the cute glasses. Let's see what else I have in here. That's about it. It's kind of self-explanatory. Like the mason jar and the vase I have together. And then the teapot and the rolling pin and the pie. Those. This is a kind of all food one. Eventually, that's how I'm going to try to do it. All food, all outdoors, something like that. But there isn't that many, so it's pretty easy to find. So I was going to show you how I uh, store, carry my... Um, where is it? Oh, it's behind me. Give me a second here. How I carry... When I um, travel with my templates. So you need a container that is at least 11 wide and 15 across in order to hold it. This one here is called a, a Janet basket. That's who makes it. Um, and it has a nice handle and it's very durable. But I know that a 31 bags has some really nice one. I used to have one from them or two from them before the fire, but now I use this. So if you can find a nice, um, supportive. This one has nice bottom to it and everything. Uh, it will work. 
So you can see that if you got yourself one like this, there's two, there's three, there's four, and my a la carte on the side is five. And I'm ready to hit the road. I have one of these for my templates and one with all my spare tools on it. in it. I used to take my tools from my work area when I went to retreats, but one time I missed taking my cutter, another time I left my inks at home, another time I left my uh, scissors at home. So now I have one of everything to take along with me. Um, you can also see that if I wanted to, I could stack another layer like this and just leave this open and I could get more in here and still be able to lift it. So that makes it convenient. Um, so basically, oh, one other thing I was going to show you is my large, lift this down, see it's not that heavy, is my large templates. Because I have questions people ask about that too. This was given to me as a donation um, after I was recovering from losing everything with the fire and someone didn't need it anymore. And um, I know I've seen them at Staples and they're just a accordion portfolio holder. And so what I've done is the same thing, use the same labels and label them. I don't have these in alphabetical at this time. Uh, and you can see I have them up to here, but I have all these empty spaces here so you can get a ton in here. But I keep my my rings. Uh, what was that one? That wasn't rings. That was arrows and my lazy trims, my rings, my gadgets, all my big ones together. And to be kind of uh, tight, I have the portrait in here. But anything that has that type of round like the sun, the swirl, and the portrait. I keep all together because if I'm looking for that type of shape, um, I can find it. So I keep that all right here. And then you can see, get in there, you can see that it zips up, get down. And it's very easy to transport also. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you, um, that maybe you might pull some ideas from it, or maybe not. But, you know, each individual has different thoughts of a way to organize it. The system works for me, and I hope that it'll work for someone else that views this video. So um, I'm wishing you a nice evening. And hope you enjoy this video. Bye now.